Hello, I hope we, you are doing well. Let's talk about the food security which we left in the previous video. Instruction given about the food security. Food, very basic and uh, essential need of people as well as animals too. So, food is basic need of every citizen of the country and should have, every citizen should have access to food which provide them minimum nutritional value. We need that uh, various nutrition uh, like uh, vegetation get nutrition through absorbing water and other nutrients from soil. Animals and uh, human, birds and animals, human, will be beings that obtain our uh, needy nutrition through food. So food is basic and essential to us. And if any segment of population does not have this access, access to food, the segment suffer from lack of food security. Earlier I said about food security, availability, accessibility and affordability to food to every citizen, that is called food security. And if any segment of society that not able to get uh, this food, we call that this segment of society is suffered food security. So, the number of people who do not have food security is disproportionately large in our country. Even in developed states as well, states which are developed like Gujarat, Maharashtra, Punjab, Haryana, those are called so-called developed states. There are also large number of poor people, those who suffer of food security. Apart from that, basic uh, more people means those who are uh, in rural area as well as uh, remote area and areas which are prone to natural disaster in those area people are actually suffer of food security more than other area <coughs> so here the remote areas of the country and mainly uh, the areas which are prone to natural disaster and uh, uncertain, they have uncertain food supply. In order to ensure availability of food to all sections of society, our government carefully designed national food security system. That is government's responsibility that each and every citizen of the country get access to food, to their basic need basic need of food. So government has decided or designed carefully the food policy, food system in India that is called food, national food security system. National food security system. And in national food security system there are two components. First component that is buffer stock and the second component that is public distribution system known as PDS. So let's talk about the buffer stock first. What is buffer stock? Stock uh, basically is kind of reserve, right? And reserve of uh, grains. So buffer stock is reserve of grains, mainly wheat and rice. And those wheat and rice procured by the government, government procured, government purchases the, those wheat and rice from the farmers through Food Corporation of India (FCI). Food Corporation of India about food security and components of food security you will have learned in the previous standard in 9th standard. All right, uh, uh, there is a dedicated chapter for food security in economics. All right, uh, so but still let's discuss about food security in detail to understand it in a better way as well as we are going to discuss about the problems. All right, so buffer stock, stock of grains mainly wheat and rice procured by the government through Food Corporation of India FCI. India's food security policy has primary objective to ensure availability of food grains to the common people at an affordable price. So here objective, main objective of policy here, primary objective, main objective of policy to provide food to the common people and that also at affordable price because poor people are not able to buy food at high price at local market price so government provides them at subsidized level 
very less than market price. So it has enabled the poor to access food. So those who have less income, those who earn less, those who cannot able to eat uh, those fast food or those who cannot eat in the restaurant or those who cannot purchase basic food like wheat, rice, sugar, right, uh, and other cereal and pulses from the local market shop or from the supermarket. So those people can afford those cereals, those need, uh, their need of food from the local fair price shop that is a part of public distribution system about it which already had learned in 9th standard. So the focus of policy <coughs> is on growth of agriculture production on fixing support price for procurement of wheat and rice to maintain their stock. Here we can say it has a dual objective because as government procures food grains from the farmers, it provides fair price to the farmers. How? Because government pre-announced MSP, minimum support price. Minimum support price MSP. What is MSP? Not meaning of MSP is minimum support price. There is just a full form of it. So if a question, what is called MSP? What do you mean by MSP or what is MSP? In that set, if you write only MSP means uh, minimum support price, that is not fair enough. Uh, that you can answer only if a question like uh, uh, MSP stands for, right? Or for what MSP stands? Right. So if such kind of question, then you can write full form. But if question, what is MSP? Like that question, in that case, you have to describe in brief what is MSP. So MSP is minimum support price pre-announced by the government on which government ready to purchase crops, mainly wheat and rice. Right. So on minimum support price, government purchases wheat and rice, mainly wheat and rice and other groups as well. <clears throat> so Food Corporation of India is responsible for procuring the and uh, stocking food grains. So FCI, Food Corporation of India procures food grains on behalf of the government and its stocks as well. That is called buffer stock. Whereas distribution, so two components, first buffer stock and FCI, right? Uh, buffer stock created by FCI, actually created by the government but through FCI. And uh, second here, the stock is ready. Now, what to do with that stock? Uh, the, we need the system to distribute it, uh, to, uh, to ensure it that uh, that stock, those food grains uh, available to the common people, right? So we need a system, that system is called public distribution system. So PDS is a program which provides food grains and other essential commodities at subsidized price, especially to the common people. Common people, those who are poor actually. And in uh, both the areas, in rural areas as well as in the urban area. <laughs> now, there are a few drawbacks of this uh, system. Let's see, let's talk about them. Because uh, as I used to say, uh, everything has two dimensions good bad right so here advantages disadvantages so question can be like uh, give advantages or uh, mention disadvantages so it is better disadvantages it's not like the, that is bad system or something like that but uh, better to say i in such case actually i refer them as limitations not actually disadvantages that that means it is bad but limitations so limitations uh, can be improved we can make uh, those limitations, we can convert those disadvantages into advantages. Alright? So, let's talk about uh, such uh, disadvantages or limitations. The FCI procures food grains from farmers at government pre announced minimum support price. Alright? And uh, government pre, -announce, pre announces minimum support price to encourage farmers 
because government wants that uh, farmers grow certain types of crops like uh, wheat and rice. <laughs> the government used to provide subsidy as well as government provides subsidy. Uh, subsidy on fertilizers, subsidy on pesticides, subsidy on pesticides, as well as uh, subsidy on seeds, right? So these subsidies have now reached at unsustainable level because uh, to encourage farmers uh, for improvement in agriculture sector that government divided that uh, increases these subsidies and uh, due to this uh, higher level of subsidies now those farmers and this agriculture sector becomes that uh, inefficient they misuse it so excessive and uh, imprudent use of fertilizers and water has led to water logging now drawbacks, overutilization. Everything is limited. Everything is good till one limit. Everything, right? If you eat food at a certain level, that is good. If you eat more than uh, your need or uh, more than your uh, capacity, that is harmful. So for everything, almost everything, this. So in the case of agriculture as well, due to government's policy that uh, overutilization over creation of fertilizer, irrigations, right? So now problems like water logging, uh, salinity and depletion of essential micronutrients in the soil. So those are uh, basic problems uh, uh, nowadays many areas of the country face. The high MSP and subsidized in input committed FCI purchases have distorted cropping pattern because of high subsidized material available, inputs available and at the same time high subsidized material, inputs available and at the same time higher price as well. So farmers here now get uh, cheap inputs, cheap because of subsidies and uh, those people now able to get very good price of their crops due to the uh, government's policy, due to MSP, right? So here, uh, those, this system that uh, actually uh, disturbed this cropping pattern because before uh, farmers uh, grew different crops, they had different cropping pattern like uh, uh, different kharif crop, uh, Rabi crop, right, and different types of crop uh, they took before. This year, like uh, wheat and paddy, so next year, pulses and something else, right. So it was pattern, and uh, that made balance in the soil as well, because uh, those things that cropping better maintain nutrition in the soil. But uh, now, this disturbed the cropping pattern because now farmers want to earn more. They focus on wheat and rice because uh, MSP is higher there, chances to get earned more. So here like examples we can take of like Punjab and Haryana, those people focus, uh, uh, those people now focus on that growing wheat and rice, mainly wheat and rice. So this has created serious imbalance in cropping parities. Now here we know that uh, distribution system, this is uh, those are the problems mainly uh, because of uh, procurement of uh, wheat and rice mainly. Right. Now, uh, problems in distribution. We know that uh, we had learned already about it that distribution of food grains through the public distribution system, PDS. And uh, we had learned about uh, different cards. And mainly people are divided into two categories. APL and BPL. APL means people above the poverty line. Poverty line which is declared by government, those people who are able to earn more than that poverty line, more than that amount. So those people are called people above poverty line. People below poverty line means people, those who are not able to earn according to that imaginary line, their earning is lesser than imaginary line. So those people are called below the poverty line. So consumers are two types of consumers, PPL and APL. So they have different uh, issue price. Government uh, distributes 
through PDS wood grains at different prices. Rural and urban area, those both areas have different prices. Different prices here, as well as uh, people those who are above poverty line, people those who are below poverty line. Uh, for both ration card holder, ration card holder, those have different price segment. Means if you go uh, for purchase wheat, if you are above poverty line, you have to pay 20, uh, 15 rupees, 20 rupees around. That is just uh, just example amount. Uh, I don't know actual price. I'm sorry for that. Uh, but if uh, people below poverty line, they may be able to get at 5 rupees, 10 rupees per kilogram. That's all. So that is the difference. But uh, here problems. Uh, here categorization is not perfect and number of deserving poor have been excluded from the BPL due to that uh, corrupt system and uh, inefficient system of this categorization. These people, those who are actually deserve, they are not able to get uh, food grains at uh, lower price because they are holding APL and those people those who are actually above poverty line but to get advantages they have PPL card that is also one of the problems second problems uh, people uh, especially in agriculture sector it may possible that uh, people those who are above poverty line can be as below poverty line due to many reasons such as crop failure so farmer is now above poverty line, he had earned enough, right, uh, so above poverty line, but who knows, next year if uh, crops fail, and due to other reasons, then uh, his income decreases, it will decrease, so it, he will come below the poverty line, so that problem is shifting as well, and uh, here uh, administratively very difficult to accommodate this kind of shifts. So those are the problems. Now each district and block can be made self-sufficient in food grain production if government provides proper agriculture infrastructure. So here what government can do to improve it in the better way. And uh, what are other problems mainly faced by the small farmers. So about those problems and uh, suggestions we can say suggestions or advices we will discuss in the next video so stay tuned and if you have a doubt in any topic uh, no matter in this chapter or any other uh, as uh, many times i said earlier uh, send your query to the helpline number or uh, if a small matter you can uh, write below in the comment section as well all right so in next video we will discuss about uh, problems faced by small farmers in india and suggestions. Alright, thank you so much for watching.